Welcome back to this channel for a brand new video. Today we have another tutorial for you. In this video, I will show you how to replace the control unit in the top tube of your electric bike with a Bosch system controller in the event that it becomes faulty or malfunctions and how you can simply retrofit a Bosch system controller provided that this option is already available on your electric bike. First of all, let's take a closer look at how you can replace a new system controller unit with an existing one that is already installed on your e-bike. This may be necessary, for example, if the system controller has been damaged by a stone chip, or if you have the feeling that the e-bike is no longer responding, and it may be due to the system controller. Then you have the option to easily replace it. You simply need an 8mm Torx screwdriver, which you can then use to replace the remote controller. To do so, we start by loosening the small Torx screw that is located here in the top tube of your bike. Once the screw is loosened, we can effortlessly and conveniently pull out the control unit, just like this. Here is a small clamp that holds everything together in the top tube of the bike. Next, you can see the display cable attached right here. This leads directly to the Bosch motor. We simply need to loosen this. Just be a bit careful. And with that, we have already removed the system controller. Now we just have to make sure that if the cable is under a bit of strain, it doesn't somehow fall back into the frame. If this happens, we will have the struggle of getting it out again. We're going to put it here to the side for now. Let's just hope this does not happen to me right now. All right, perfect. You can keep this rubber seal right here. It stays on here. And now we are able to take the brand new LED remote control. We can simply put away the old one and then connect the new one again using the display cable, which is already in place inside the top tube here. Make sure to pay attention to the labeling. We have a white line on the display cable right here, as you can see. And we also have a small white marking on the system controller, and we just need to put them together at this position. Just like that, until you've overcome a small resistance, you put the plug back in, and then you can simply insert the LED remote back into the top tube. First, insert the side with the tension clamp and then secure it again with the corresponding screw in the top tube. It could not be easier. And with that, we have basically replaced the system controller and can now start the electric bike again via the controller and everything works as usual. If you are also using the mini remote, you may have to reconnect it, of course, because it is not yet connected to the new system controller. This can be done as usual via the Flow app. We also have a separate video for this linked in the video description. There you can see how you can connect the mini remote. However, your first step should now also be to visit a Bosch specialist dealer, simply because whenever you retrofit a new control unit, it must resolve a so-called internal ID conflict. The LED remote has to be synchronized with the entire electric bike again so that it knows, okay, there's something new here that will take about 10 minutes, then it's done. The dealer just has to press a button in the diagnostics tool and then you can continue riding as normal. Everything is already working. Everything was already working before, but there's just a small internal conflict that needs to be resolved. If you have already installed the Bosch LED remote on your electric bike, which looks like this one here, or the new Purion 200 display and control unit on the handlebar, you should eventually also be able to retrofit this minimalist system controller on your electric bike. However, this always depends on the manufacturer because it's crucial that your manufacturer has already prepared the corresponding recess in the top tube for the controller as required. A manufacturer who has sometimes done this, for example, is Conway. They have delivered their bikes with an LED remote and offer the option to still install the system controller here. This also affects a few other manufacturers who offer you the opportunity to do so. If this is the case, and you have installed the LED remote on the handlebar, you must of course first disconnect it from the system. To do so, remove the display cable here, guide it all the way back into the frame, through the down tube into the top tube, 
where the system controller is then essentially connected. You then connect the cable that was previously on the LED remote, and then install it in the same way. This means you can retrofit the entire system in just a few easy steps. Same as before. After installation, go back to your trusted Bosch dealer and have them resolve this ID conflict, which also occurs when you replace an LED remote with the system controller. And just like that, you're practically up and running with your new system controller in just a few simple steps. I hope we have been able to help you a little with the replacement of the Bosch system controller or give you a better understanding of the new system controller in general. Perhaps this is a useful device for some of you. You might also consider retrofitting it if you have a suitable bike. If you have any further questions, please feel free to post them in the comments. Activate the notifications if you don't want to miss any more videos. The tutorial on how to retrofit the mini remote is linked in the description. Make sure to subscribe for more Bosch tutorials. I wish you lots of fun retrofitting the controller yourself and riding your e-bike. Have a great day and all the best.